Hi friends, I'm Sunny from India, coming to you this week with another great topic. This time, the importance of water in our life. I want to start talking about this topic by reciting a few verses from a poem by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Water, water everywhere, nor a drop to drink. I repeat, water, water everywhere, nor a drop to drink. These verses prove beyond doubt one aspect of our life on Earth. About 70% of our planet's surface is surrounded by water. But ironically, in many parts of the world, millions of people, animals, and even plants starve to death because of the shortage of water. Water is to our life what blood is to our body. Can we imagine a day in our life without drinking a glass of water in some form? Well, the consumption of water may vary from country to country, but one thing is clear, we cannot survive without water. We all know that the first physical condition for the existence of life anywhere in the universe is the presence of water. That is why our scientists keep on sending space probes to an other planets searching for water so that human race can colonize these planets with the water in the future. Here we should remember one fact, that water is a double-edged weapon. That means when in one part of the world, when people, animals struggle to survive through floods, in another part, animals, plants, millions of people perish because of or due to persistent drought. Many people wonder why these floods and droughts are increasing in frequency in our life. You know, with the global warming, floods and droughts are fast becoming regular episodes in our life. And in some countries, the fury of the nature in the form of floods and uh, um, droughts strike simultaneously. Here we should remember one fact about nature. Nature does not need human race here, but we need a hospitable nature to survive on this planet. So it is time that we learned how to protect our nature from deforestation, wildfires, and other man-made disasters. And we should also be proactive by, you know, in our approach by planting more trees which will help bring down the frequency of droughts and floods um, in the world. Here, I want to share with you the story about what happened to my state, Kerala, last year. You know, last year, last August, Kerala was hit by a flood, which, according to uh, official records, was the worst flood that had hit Kerala during the past 90 years. At that time, we lost 480 lives, close to 1 million cattle, more than 10,000 houses were destroyed, and uh, the total property damage came around to 6 billion US dollars. So I think these natural calamities are nothing but a warning to us, human race, about the imminent catastrophe that waits us in the future. I'll leave you now with a campaign song which was made to create awareness among the people about the flood situation in Kerala last year. Thank you for watching.